Good evening. Welcome to VC3 News and Sports for Friday, August 30th, 2024. I am Shadeen McLean. Vincentian soccer artist Gamal Skinny Fabulous Doyle continues to make his country proud as he walked away last night with several music awards from the Caribbean Music Awards 2024 ceremony. Skinny Fabulous was awarded Male Soccer Artist of the Year and also together with Trini Soccer Artist Nyla Blackman, the duo also won Soccer Video of the Year with Come Home and Soccer Collaboration of the Year for the song Come Home. The 2024 Caribbean Music Awards took place in King's Theatre in Brooklyn, New York yesterday evening, Tuesday, August 29. The staff of VC3 congratulates Gamal Skinny Fabulous Doyle on his achievements. In other local news, due to the impact of Hurricane Beryl in July, primary, secondary and technical institutions in St. Vincent's and the Grenadines will reopen for face-to-face -face engagement for the upcoming academic year in a phased manner. The vast majority of institutions will resume classes on Monday, the 2nd of September, 2024, and most of the remaining schools between the 4th and 16th of September, 2024. All government-owned and operated early childhood centers will reopen on Monday, the 2nd of September, except for the OIA Early Childhood Center. The Ministry of Education says that these decisions have been made in close consultation with relevant stakeholders with the safety and well-being of students and staff as the top priority. A counsellor in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Ms. Alika Matthews, is encouraging students across St. Vincent and the Grenadines to be kind to each other when they return to school in the next few days. On the NBC face-to-face -face program on the topic, Back to School Anxiety, Ms. Matthews said it is time to end bullying in schools. She added that it has been a very challenging year and each child might be going through their own phase in life. And that can go both ways. You find that persons who are repeating, they can be bullying other persons, but they can also be bullied. bullied. Well, children will mark them and be like, Oh, mm -hmm. you're taking this class again? You start back. And exactly, <laughs> and laughing and making it a difficult mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. And this is the instance where I'm going to encourage parents before the school term starts, mm -hmm. encourage your children to be kind to other students. You never know what students are experiencing, what they're going through, especially in their home environment. You don't know what's happening. You don't know why this child would have fallen back. So encourage your children to be kind to the next student because you just never know. Meanwhile, Ms. Matthews urges parents to ensure that their children reduce the time that they spend on their mobile devices as a new school year approaches. Matthews added that while mobile devices can be good, it can also affect their academic performances. Don't just take it away, but start to decrease the time that they're in it. For me, I would have said two weeks mm -hmm. moving up to because it's time for children to start picking up the school books. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we need to go back to the days when we made sure children read the literature books before school starts first, or at least first start reading a few mm -hmm. chapters mm -hmm. of the book just to get them back into the rotation of having to read and study. But for me, decrease the, the time that they spend on the tablet especially when it comes to nighttime because sometimes you get up and you realize this child is on the tablet and it's at 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. like you should be sleeping yeah. so get them into a healthy rotation in that you can have the tablet for this period of time and after that time we're gonna have to cut it off and you're gonna have to go to bed and don't leave them with it <laughs> make sure you take it away because you might be sleeping and they decide okay i'm up yeah. and i want to be on the device so put them into a schedule, into a routine where you let them make sure that they're reading their books. You give them some tablet time and make sure that's quality time as well. Yes, they would have the tablet to do fun things, but they're also things that they can do to help build them as they begin the school term. The youth is critical to the development of the country. This and other stories coming up when we return after the break. Stay with us. Now available from all lotto agents, Goldmine, a new $2 Instacash game with a top prize of $3,000. Goldmine, so easy.
easy to play. If your numbers equals the bars of gold numbers in the same group, win the prize shown. You can win up to three times. Get your gold line Insta Cash tickets where there's no waiting for a draw, and you can win on the spot. Gold mine, another easy to win Insta Cash game from the National no Office Authority. Authority. Welcome back. Youth are vital, critical, and important to the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is according to Deputy President of the National Prime Ministerial Advisory Council on Youth, Rodney Small, on VC3 Roundtable Talk program on Wednesday, August 28th. This discussion on Wednesday was on the topic, what is the role of youth in national development and how can they contribute to the national development process? Small further added that the youth is a great representation of the future. We are responsible for the preservation of a lot of things. We are also responsible for our identity and the preservation of our cultural identity in terms of, I mean, St. Vincent and Grenadines and what we are known for. Um, we, we, and I would use the word we because I, I am still a youth. Um, we, are, we are responsible for, for a lot of different things in terms of um, innovation, in terms of technology, in terms of leadership, in terms of economic growth. Because again, we have to, we have to carry on the mantle of, of, of a lot of foundation that was already laid down for us as, as young people. But simply put, in, in a nutshell, we, we are the driving force for the future of any society and any nation. And we also have to remember that our relay is not run by one person. So somebody has to keep passing on the baton. And I think for, for, for me and my own experience, somebody took the time to nurture me, Rodney Small, as a youth. And I think it is important for me as a youth, and my critical role is to continue that, that, that chain, is to continue that transition of, of, of building um, our nation youth, to continue, as I said, to preserve a lot of what we are known for and a lot of what our um, our ancestors, our four parents fought for. Mr. Small said that there are a number of opportunities for the youth to make significant development to their country. There's always room for, for more room, but um, one of the things that I am seeing happening today, and it might be a very unpopular statement, is that we are, we are making our, our young people too dependent on, on something or someone. I remember growing up long ago, we were so content. You know I mean, a, a, a banana leaf was, was, was seen as a, as a, as a, as a toy. So our imagination and our creativity drove us to, to, to um, provide opportunities for our own self. We were more self-motivated. Now we are so dependent on, on, on so much things that are around us that are almost seen as distractions. But I mean, as I said, there's always room for improvement. And, and I think that um, the, 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 the more we continue to create as youth, is the more that we can create opportunities. Because for myself, as a, as a youth who, are, who is a young entrepreneur, um, being in business, I've created so many other employment opportunities for other youths that are around me, and they can also go ahead and do the same. More on the local stories, police are currently investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of an adult male found on Kittles Beach yesterday, August 29, 2024. Police were alerted to an anonymous report of the discovery of a male body on the beach. Upon further investigation, the deceased was identified as Michael Dalloway, a 40-year-old resident of Kittles, who was known to have a mental health condition. The district medical officer attended the scene and pronounced Dalloway dead. A post-mortem examination will be conducted to determine the exact cause of death. Coming up next, we have the VC3 Sports. <music> Your life, your vibe, your cola. So represent. Your life, your vibe, representing the best cola. Me and the Moses cola, right, right. From me, open the cola. Me a look, me a look for the best cola. Look to the left, me see the zest cola. Look to the right, me see the zest cola. Zest, zest cola, are the best, best cola. Represent for the zest cola. your favorite bars, restaurants, corner stores, and supermarkets. Zest. Your cola, your vibe.
Welcome to VC3 Sports for Friday, August 30th, 2024. On the local scene in volleyball, St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be represented by a men and women's team at the 2024 Eastern Caribbean Volleyball Association, ECVA, Under-21 Beach Volleyball Championships in St. Kitts and Nevis. The championships will get going today, August 30th, and runs until Sunday, September 1st, and will be played at the Marriott Beach. Representing the men's team are Damari Frederick and Tariq Duncan, with Nayeli Fogus and Rihanna Robinson as the women's representatives. In the men's category, the Vincentians are in Pool A, alongside the British Virgin Islands and St. Kitts and Nevis, while the women are lodged in Pool B, which also includes Dominica and St. Kitts and Nevis. The Vincentian teams are coached by Nikita Campbell Kamabach and Ronaldo Franklin. The winning team in both the men's and women's division will earn the right to represent the ECVA at a 2025 FIVB Beach Volleyball Under-21 World Championships carded for Virginia in July 2025. In more local stories, in athletics, Keo Davis placed fifth in his heat with a time of 21.70 seconds, while Devonrick Mack finished with a time of 22.01 seconds in the men's 200 meter of the World Athletics Under-20 Championships in Lima, Peru. Neither athletes progressed to the next round. They followed a similar fate as the other Vincentian athlete, Tyra Childs, who on Wednesday did not get past in her heat, the women's 400 meter. That's a VC3 Sports. Thanks for joining us. Remember to log on to our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, as well as the VC3 channel 114 for further updates. I am Shadeen McLean. Thanks for joining us.